Session 2. Session 2 will cover Learning Outcome 5.1.3 Use Simple and Compound Decay Formulae to Solve Problems Learning Outcome 5.1.3 Use Simple and Compound Decay Formulae to Solve Problems Level 4 is the first time students are being exposed to the concept of decay. Let's look at what it means. An asset is something of monetary value, owned by an individual or company such as land, buildings and machinery. Many assets lose value over time because of usage and eventually need to be replaced. This is called depreciation or decay of an asset. Use examples of depreciable assets like a tractor, to help students understand the concept of decay. When we calculate the depreciation of an asset, we can calculate it in one of two ways. On a straight line basis or on a reducing balance basis. Let's start off with straight line depreciation. This is also known as straight line decay, simple depreciation or simple decay. When calculating depreciation on a straight line basis, we use the simple depreciation formula, which is A is equal to P times 1 minus IN. Here we can see a graphic representation of straight line decay. As time increases, so the value decreases in a linear fashion. The decrease in value is calculated as a percentage of the original value only. Straight line depreciation can be compared to simple interest, except that here the value is decreasing at a constant rate instead of increasing. Let's have a look at a problem with simple decay. Let us look at the following problem. Lindy bought a laser printer three years ago for 2,700 Rand. If its value is now 500 Rand, calculate the rate per annum at which depreciation is calculated on a straight line basis. We use the straight line depreciation formula in the form of the following equation to calculate the total of the depreci depreciation on an item. This formula is number four is number 26 on your formula sheet. The, pr the printer was bought three years ago. Therefore, the number of years in the problem is three. It was bought for 2,700 Rand. So the principal amount is 2,700 Rand. And its current value is 500 Rand. We, s we then simply plug in these values into our formula and we get the following. We then need to isolate R and we start by dividing both sides of the equation by 2700. We cancel like terms at the top and the bottom on the right hand side of the equation. Simplifying the equation we get the following. We then subtract 1 from both sides of the equation. And we then multiply both sides by 100 and divide both sides by minus 3 in order to isolate R. And we get a final answer of 27.16%. Therefore, the rate
per annum at which depre depreciation is calculated is 27.16%. An alternative method of calculating um, the rate per annum is to look at the formula, the initial formula, and isolate I from the very beginning. If we had to isolate I, we would get the following formula. We simply plug in these values once again into the formula and this is our I value we have to multiply this I value by a hundred in order to get into a percentage form which gives us 27.16%. And as you can see, this is the same value that we got in the f when we calculated the percentage in the first method. Reducing balance depreciation. With reducing balance depreciation, the decrease in value of the asset is calculated on the value at the end of the previous period. Reducing balance depreciation is also known as compound decay, compound depreciation, or reducing balance decay. The formula for reducing balance depreciation is A equals P times 1 minus I to the power of N. This can be compared to the formula for compound growth, except in this case, we have a decreasing exponential function. We can see from the graphic that initially the decrease in value is quick, but that this decrease in value slows down over time. We can compare this to our simple decay function, which decreases linearly over time. Now let's take a look at an example illustrating compound decay. Let us look at the following problem. An engineering company Purchased, purchased a robot, robotic hand for 4 million rand. It depreciates at a compound rate of 5% annually. When calculating the depreciation of an item that depreciates at a compound rate, we use the following formula. This formula is number 26 on your formula sheet. This type of depreciation is also known as the reducing balance depreciation. Now the first part of the question asks us to calculate the value of the machine after eight years. The principal amount is given as four million rand. The interest rate is given as five percent. We are calculating the value of the machine after 8 years, therefore n is equal to 8. And now that we have these values, we simply plug it in into our equation over here. And on simplifying the equation, we get the following. Therefore, the total depreciation after eight years is 2,653,681 rand and 73 cents. The next part of the question asks us to calculate the total depreciation after an eight-year period. In order to do that, 
we take the initial value of the, of the robotic hand, which was 4 million rand, and we subtract the value of the machine after eight years. On simplifying the equation, we get the following. Therefore, the total depre depreciation after eight years is 1,346,318 rand and 27 cents. Now, work on your own or in pairs to complete this example. Mr. Mokaba's new car is valued at 350,000 rand. It depreciates at 11% per annum. Calculate the car's value after five years of depreciation using A. Straight line depreciation B. Reducing balance depreciation Let's take a look at the solution worked through by a lecturer. Mr. Mukaba's new car is valued at 350,000 rand. It depreciates at 11% per annum. Calculate the car's value after five years of depreciation is calculated using 1. Straight line depreciation, 2. Reducing balance depreciation. So we're going to use either this and that based on the question. So the question, first of all, wants us to use straight line depreciation. Now, there is a way of understanding this, and they normally say it is a simple interest formula with just a negative sign. That's not really entirely correct, but you can, to understand it, you can just use that, um, that uh, sort of mentality or mindset that uh, when they say straight line depreciation, once they give you the keyword straight line, which means that it's simple interest with just a negative sign. And of course, reducing balance is the compound interest with just a negative sign. So we just have to write what we're given. We are then given that P is equal to 350,000. We're also given that R is equal to 11%. Therefore, I is equal to 11 over 100, which then gives you 0 0.11. We also know that N is equal to five years. Now that we have that, let's go and substitute. Number A. Let's use our calculator and check. So we expect the value we get here to be less than 350,000. That is so because the value is reducing, is depreciating. So now, the value of this car after five years would have dropped to be one hundred and fifty seven thousand five hundred rand. So that's the value of this car after five years. That's only when you've calculated the the depreciation of the car using the straight line depreciation. Now let's go to reducing balance depreciation. Let's see what the value, what the, what the answer will be. 350,000, open bracket. So 
So using the reducing balance depreciation, the cars value will be 195,442 rand 8 cents. So the question can then follow up and ask which one is the better way of, uh, of, uh, of saving the cars value. Of course, using the reducing balance depreciation would not, uh, would not uh, make the car's value de de depreciate at a, higher, at a higher speed or at a higher rate. After five years, this one, the, the, this one gives you less value for the car. And remember, for your car, you must still save your value of the car so that when you want to trade it or sell it, you still get more in your pocket. So the person who was, uh, whose depreciation has been calculated using this method will save more money than the person whose depreciation was used using or was calculated using this method. So we've both answered question one and two or A and B with a bonus question of comparing the two methods. This brings us to the end of this module on tax and decay, as well as the end of topic five on financial mathematics. All the best in the classroom.